Bangalore, known throughout the world for its sunrise IT industry, has a side to it that is seldom seen. Parikrama was founded in 2003 to impart quality education that prepares the poorest of poor children for life. Through the sheer quality of its education, it has been revolutionizing the way we educate our poor. To ensure that the child is ready to pursue dreams, the Parikrama model has an end-to-end -end program by providing education from KG to 12. Parikrama provides scholarship and professional training for children to go through universities or even vocational training before placing them in jobs. On an average, we've had 96% attendance, less than 1% dropout, 95% attendance in parent-teacher meetings and 98% of our children are pursuing higher education in law, engineering, medicine and hotel management. But this is not enough. We are now trying to bring a systemic change in education by sharing our best practices with other schools. In 2015, we started the Parikrama Festival of Science with the theme being Water. The children adopted the Alal Sundra Lake and kept it clean. In 2016, the Festival of Science taught energy and the participants provided solar energy to two homes without electricity in a rural village of Chindalwadi. This year, we present Parikrama Festival of Science with soil and agriculture as the theme. The future of our world depends on addressing global challenges now. We need to create sustainable livelihoods, feed a growing population and safeguard the environment. We need to make the global economy green. Farmers are key to the green economy. They grow the crops to feed, clothe and produce other renewables for all of us. They manage the land, safeguard natural resources and help protect biodiversity. Around the world, agriculture accounts for 37% of employment, 34% of land use, 70% of water use and up to 30% of greenhouse gas emissions. In fact, 97% of agriculture workers live in developing countries where it is women farmers who grow the majority of our food. Growth from agriculture is at least twice as effective in reducing poverty than any other sector. And it has one of the highest potentials for mitigating carbon emissions. We need 70% more food available by 2050. We must increase productivity and reduce waste. We must help farmers share knowledge and access the training and inputs they need to sustainably improve the quantity, quality and diversity of the crops they grow. And we must help them adapt to changing weather patterns to keep soil fertile and to tackle pests. Farmers also need better access to markets to get supplies and information and to sell their surplus crops more reliably and affordably, further reducing waste. These include local storage, communications and transport systems. This increases the money they earn and creates more jobs. When existing farms are more productive, natural habitats and the biodiversities they support can remain intact and forests can continue to capture carbon and reduce overall emissions related to climate change. 
Let's invest in agriculture research and create science-based policies. Let's support sustainable agriculture for a green economy by putting farming first. Thanks JNCASR and Synopsis for making this possible.